Hi, my name is Robert Remitz. I'm going to be explaining how to purchase a portable oxygen concentrator on our website. This is very, very, very important. Okay. Um, our return policy obviously says 15 days, but before you purchase a portable concentrator, you must understand the variables that you're up against, okay? Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain how this works so that way you can make the right decision because we only sell brand new portable oxygen concentrators from straight from the manufacturer. This is very, very important because once you purchase these from us and we ship it to you, when we take it back for some reason, if you did not make the right purchase, it's going to have hours on it, okay? And what we have to do is we have to turn around and put it in our either our rental fleet or we have to discount it. There, there's a lot of problems with uh, returning these units because obviously um, we do, you do not want to have uh, get a, a used unit from us when you purchase from us. Um, out of the 50,000 plus orders we've done, we do not sell any used equipment. All the equipment we sell is straight factory sealed in the man from straight from the manufacturer. Okay, so what I'm going to explain today is a difference. This right here is a pulse dose dose portable concentrator. Okay, and just to be very clear here, both of these units. And all portable oxygen concentrators only do up to three liters. That's it. Three liters per minute. Period. No matter what anyone else tells you, it does not go over three liters per minute. Now, some of the manufacturers have done a great job of marketing the fact that it's got different settings. This particular unit has a setting of up to six settings. So what happens is people think they're getting six liters per minute and but each setting is 0.5 of a liter okay so make sure that you understand uh, how many uh, liters per minute and in this case it's three liters okay and that's because of the size of the compressor that compresses and creates pure oxygen about 90 percent plus or minus three percent and this right here there's two categories there is the pulse dose which uh, what we call it a on-demand, okay, and when I turn this on, you will see what I'm talking about. So what happens is, every time you breathe, it's going to give you a burst of pure oxygen, 90% uh, medical grade oxygen, okay? It's not a continuous flow, okay? You cannot bleed this into a CPAP, okay? It's only for people that are recommended by their doctor that they can generate and be fine to be able to handle below three liters of a pulse dose. And you can hear that. I want you to hear this this pulse. Okay, it's at the fifth setting, which is three liters per minute with this uh, older version of the Inigen. Yeah, I'm going to put it there. Okay, so what happens is it gives you a little burst demand, it, and it and it just it just gives you just a, just a quick dose of pure medical grade oxygen. Is that right, Tom? Okay, and we come over here, and this is the Eclipse. And I'm glad you're here. You can set. We're we're doing a quick video here. Okay, cool. we're talking about the differences between the pulse dose okay. and the continuous flow. Because we have a lot of people that order portable concentrators from us, and then the, it's not enough. Okay. okay. These aren't enough for that. No. Uh, um, and also, this one does both, too. Right. Yeah. This, and you can see the size difference, okay? This is 
because the compressor, they can get them smaller. This is our repair guy. This is Tom. He repairs our portable concentrators. Hi, Tom. So if anything happens, we have an in-house person that takes care of this. Okay, so this is the continuous flow up to three liters, and it does pulse dose setting. And the only reason why you would use pulse is if, obviously, the doctor says it's fine to use pulse, number one. And number two is that if you set it on pulse, it'll use about half the battery life. Is that correct? Correct. Typically. All right? So if you're out and about and you need to save some battery life, you would switch it to pulse. Okay? This is a lot louder than these. It's a lot heavier. But it does continuous flow, which is very, very important, especially people that are traveling a lot and they desaturate at night. Okay? That's the whole purpose of using something like this. But you can see the difference, okay? This is a pulse dose. This is a continuous pulse dose portable concentrator. you got to know the differences before you decide which one to purchase, okay? Contact us. We're here for you 24-7 if you got any questions. But I just want to clarify these situations because we get calls all the time on this. You want to add anything to this, Tommy? Uh, no, that's pretty good. Okay. We're done. Thank you. I appreciate